glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Boardwalk Hall at the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Solid right hand lands. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook? Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Sends that right to the head. And he returns on that exchange. That's a fierce jab by the professional. Not much action as he just ties up. Not precise at all by Merciless. Solid left hand. Scored well up top. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. So we come to the end of the round. And that was a round that was very productive for him. Now he heads back to his corner. And they're going to try to repeat the success they just had, I'm sure. Yes, he heard his opponent there. He's going to want to go back to what he was doing and remember what set up those big shots. He got rocked earlier in this fight. I don't see him changing much up, Teddy. Would you be advising him that now is time for an adjustment? Well, you have to have a plan B, maybe even a plan C when you come into it. Maybe he doesn't have one. Now, if he doesn't have one, you're not going to tell him to start changing up because then you're basically saying, I don't know what to do, but, <laughs> you know, we're in trouble. Keeping him honest with a double jab up top. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make a miss, make him pay. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Finish with the 90 seconds to go here in this round. <laughs> to the head he goes with a left hand. A little head hunting with the right. Watch that. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Flush right hand to the head. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. Teddy, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. The professional's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong, really fast. And you know what? This is a thing, man. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. The professional's being damaged right now. Punch after punch is coming in. Comes 
right run. back with some offense of his own. Good jab by Riley. You see him holding on. Time is of the essence now. We've reached the halfway point of this final round. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Merciless. He returned fire right there, and it worked. After being rocked, now he gets his man. At this point, it's not about the skills and the abilities of these two fighters. It's about the dreams of them and one of them is being eliminated. Riley's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. Return to sender, he gives him back one of his own. And now he's targeting upstairs. The judges have put down their scores as we come to the end of a very exciting back and forth fight. Let's send it up to the ring announcer to hear which way it goes. Riley's performance tonight was exactly what he was looking for. And it's exactly what the judges reward.